Hello everyone guys, so today I would like to discuss how can you become a programmer. Okay, this is just for the beginners who want to learn how to become a programmer. So, paano ka nga ba maging programmer? So, if you think you can be a programmer, if you are like people who so program like what you see in the movies, yeah, it's worth trying. I suggest you try it, you learn it. Try to invest some time, but invest kind of hours, okay? Maybe at least two hours a day learning how to code, okay? So, how do you start? So, before you start, at least I suggest you're good, uh, you rip your skills and you are really good in mathematics. The better you are in mathematics, the, the better program you become. So, because it involves a lot of equation, you know? So, it's uh, actually problem solving you know, for that. Another way is logical, you should be a very logical person. Of course, if you are good enough, you are a very logical person. So you are good in logic and mathematics. So how do you start? So, paano nga ba mag start? First, I suggest you learn basic languages. So, language, yung madali lang aralin. At uh, madali lang makita, madali lang makita yung apu at ma-appreciate mo agad yung ma-enjoy mo nalang natin. So, a good example is website programming, right? Para makagawa ka ng website, para marunong ka ng HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So, you start with HTML mo. Five HTML, learn HTML5. Pag marunong ka na ng basic, try CSS. And then, JavaScript. So, HTML basically is creating a very napaka basic na layout lang okay pwede ka lang konting design design pero they already separated that and use CSS for the design para sa mga pagpaganda okay magamit ka ng CSS para mas gumanda yung website and then para mas maging dynamic siya dynamic okay more functional magamit ka ng javascript so you you can learn javascript as well so, maraming paraan, no? How do you learn that? Magaling lang matuto ngayon because you have the technology. Kahit sa mobile, you can learn it. You can choose a computer. Kahit ng computer, you can do website development. Okay? You can use a uh, very basic uh, editor. Yung kahit notepad lang pwede. So, I suggest gumamit ka ng Visual Studio Code or Visual Community. Okay? That's uh, what I find I'm, I'm using. Pwede rin yung iba, pero you can search. It's up to you. Okay. Search po lang ano yung mag-build ng tools. But, uh, Visual Studio Code will do. Or Visual Community or Standard. Okay. Those are open source and a lot of functionalities. And good enough for beginners and even for advanced programmers. Okay. Another way you can learn is using Visual Basic Modification which is uh, the programming language ng office okay kung meron ka may sa office you can try it especially kung gumagamit ng excel mas maganda kasi you have data that you can manipulate so visually sa manufacturing there's a lot of data so gumagamit sila niya excel so it depends kung anong meron ka kung ano yung pwede mo nang gamitin mas na meron ka you learn from there the, the basic very basic one learn all the concepts um, programming operators um, variables looping object oriented programming yeah the more you learn the better okay the more if you can also learn the hardware like the memory hard disk why how take upgrades the basic of those not working the better okay the better it become because the more knowledge you have it's magiling ka the more you can do with programming, okay? So, yeah. But, uh, you can do it slowly. Build from it. And that's at least two hours a day. Or two to eight hours. Don't do more than that. I suggest so you can, you can avoid burnout. Para hindi magsawa ka. So, just, um, just learn something every day, okay? The more you learn, the better you become. Tuloy, tuloy pa lang. Okay, sometimes you which plateau where it's difficult to learn something new. Just
just keep going. Manood ka lang ng mga videos ng mga developers like me. Marami na sa YouTube. Okay? Just do something else. Okay? Then continue again. If you persist, if you invest a lot of time, you can become a good one. Uh, yeah, yung steps. Paano ka maging programmer? Okay? So, hindi lang siya mahirap. So, yun lang guys. So, maybe in the future, I will share more tips or knowledge how you can be better. How you can be good in software development of software engineering or anything related to that. Well, thanks a lot for listening. Please hit like and subscribe. Good luck guys.